Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this January 26th. It is chilly out there on this little Friday morning here in southern Kentucky. Temperatures are starting out in the 30s. There's a brisk west wind at uh, 10 to 15, close to 20 miles per hour. That makes it feel chilly. Yep, so dress warmly. The end of the January thaw yesterday, the beginning of colder air starts today. And it's going to stay with us for a while, maybe even talking about the possibility of some light snow by Sunday. We'll see. In the meantime, here are the numbers. Yesterday's high was 64 at the Bowling Green Airport right around 130. That was 18 degrees warmer than the average of 46. 34 was our low temperature just before midnight. That's 8 degrees warmer than the average of 26. One year ago, we had a high of 50 and a low of 15 back in 2016. Still no precipitation over the past 24 hours. We're holding at 416 for the month of January, which puts us over by an inch and a third for the month. Cloudy, breezy today, mostly cloudy. We're only going to see a high around 40, although we could hit 41, 42 or so in Bowling Green. We'll say around 40 for a high today. But with that west wind at 12 to 20, it's going to make it feel like it's in the upper 20s to low 30s as that wind just shaves off some of that uh, actual temperature. Tonight will continue to be cloudy and cold with a low of 29. For Friday, same thing, different day. Mix of sun and clouds, breezy, chilly, 41, down to 28. Little upper-level weak disturbances moving through one by one in succession over the next several days. May throw in just a light snow flurry, especially north of Bowling Green, as you get into the central bluegrass, maybe central Kentucky, eastern Kentucky. Not uh, not really that big of a deal for us here in southern Kentucky and northern middle Tennessee. Saturday, we'll see a mostly sunny day, not all that warm, 43 at a low of 30, and yes, continued breezy. You just might as well get used to this breeze. It's going to stay with us for a while. The upper flow is uh, out of the north, northwest, and that's going to keep these disturbances moving through. The jet stream is keeping things uh, active in that regard. Now, Sunday is when we're expecting the possibility of a stronger system, a stronger disturbance moving in. And uh, there's question as to, you know, just how the temperature is going to play a role in this. Because if if we get and stay in the upper 30s to low 40s, then it's going to be mostly about rain. But all indications are that we're just barely going to stay in the upper 30s. We're going with a high of 38 on Sunday So it could start out as a little bit of light rain and then change over to light snow. Now, it's also a possibility with the timing of the precipitation when it arrives on Sunday. If it arrives Sunday morning before we uh, get above freezing, then we could see a brief period of light snow before it changes to rain and then back to light snow as we get into, say, Sunday evening. As we get down to 25 for an overnight low, whatever falls, though, is going to stick. Uh, But it's not going to be much because this is another clipper system. It moves in, moves out very quickly. So it's not going to have enough time to produce a lot of snow accumulation. Minor, if anything, less than an inch. A coating, a dusting, maybe. Again, it all depends on what time it gets here and what time it leaves. And then how the temperatures play into that factor. So if the only thing I can tell you for sure here at this point, there will be some precipitation Sunday 
We've put in a 40% chance of that. But what ends up being what, rain versus snow, is still too soon to say. There will be a brisk northwest wind at around 15 miles per hour as that clipper moves through. I can also say with somewhat uh, uh, moderate confidence, maybe moderate to high confidence, that Sunday night into Monday morning we could have some issues with travel, uh, with you know maybe some back roads being a little slick and icy uh, as we get ready to uh, get up and at them on Monday morning. But again... We, we just have to kind of wait and see how this plays out. But just just know that by Sunday, we could be looking at something there. While it won't be a lot of precipitation, it's going to be very, very minor. Uh, we may be looking at a, uh, you know, somewhat of a moderate impact on roadways uh, because we're going to get down to 25 degrees. So that means anything that falls would freeze unless the wind, you know, stays high and it blows it off and dries it off we'll just have to wait and see but by monday we're back to sunshine and 42 we do see a warming trend as we get into next week a moderation in temperature by uh, tuesday which is the last day of january we'll see a mostly sunny 52 but then another clipper system moves in by wednesday the first day of february It'll be mostly sunny and around 47. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day, and I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. If you get a chance, join me later today for my radio show, I'll play the greatest hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and even throw in some 50s, especially during the drive at 5. I call it 50s at 5. I'll play uh, you know, a prime cut out of the 50s each and every day as you get ready to go home. To listen to it, just tune in between 3 and 7 to Sam 100.7 FM.